The defendant in this case was pretty upset when she found pictures of the plaintiff with another woman. She admits to breaking a couple of picture frames, but not to the extensive damage the plaintiff is claiming. Let's take a look. Now, do you have any sense of proportion at all? You had a felony looking at you. You were not exactly what I call a person who was behaving in a chaste fashion. You bring in new boyfriend. Did you not realize new boyfriend was going to hear about your threesomes? The things you're doing to get somebody that you won't do to keep them. That's what I used to get them. He didn't want to keep them. Nope. Them. nope. He drives a taxi in New York. He's oh, got working? in the Bronx. He's got lots he of people he, he can meet. All the little fine tender honeys that jump in and out of the he cab. Even have He's a license. single man. He's got his own uh, apartment. He makes decent money. He doesn't need to be dealing with you running around sleeping with somebody up in the mail room at your job. <laughs> What proof does and he have? And you of got him wanting to marry you. Oh, you running game too. Oh, can we can we get a birth? Can we get you a, got a busted. paternity test? Can we do By a DNA way, test uh, now? Can we do now, one now? To the thing, your cross complaint. This was not false arrest. You have testified in here, essentially to each and every element necessary to constitute the crime that you got charged with. So that's certainly not false arrest when out of your own mouth you established a case. So how can you say he's liable to you for false arrest? And by what you put in your complaint, to make a long story short, apparently you two had a joint bank account. So what happens is you say you got a $600 incentive check from the U.S. government. What the records show is that $600 check was deposited in your joint account. I have now at some of later time signature. there happened to have been a transfer out of that account of $600. He didn't convert your check. What he was trying to do is get his share of the rent. Thank you. So you hustled. You got a new fiance over here who's getting stuck with somebody else's 18-month-old child, and it may not proud be the be. child of the person he nominally thinks he's getting stuck with. Who cares? I'm proud to be his papa. Well, great. You don't even know nothing about papa. Oh yes, what he kind sure of does. What are you, boy? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Don't get your nose wide open, son. You, you get in get all broken. kinds of trick bags, and you need to look at this closely, because you just got with her. I've I wouldn't her marry nobody, years, no one, unless you've been with them for long enough to find out, oh, I'll get her. Get I've over it. Her, I've get known over her for it. 17 years. Get this over it. a good it. woman. And every time he brings Daddy, her back Daddy. to court to go against uh, uh, child support and visitation, you know what happens? She takes time off. I go with her, and who don't show up? Him. You so, never went. He's Daddy always was there. there. Your brother was there he's the last time. We the there. last time, because that was the first time he ever showed up. Yeah, whatever, dude. Don't act tough, bro. I ain't, I don't act tough. I'm just dude, a man. I stand be, up dude. for what you I believe. Wannabe. Well, it's good to take care of the youth and the community. Somebody needs Thank to play you, man Thank for you. his I'm daddy. Stay. But Thank hold you. on. It might be nice if we find out who the daddy really is. Absolutely. Let's do it. Broken door, eighty-three dollars. You've established. Ten months unpaid rent. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Now here's what I'm going to do. Not accomplish anything. Um, there's a thing called mitigation. You're entitled to four fifty-seven fifty a month rental, but I'm going to do it for four months, so that totals out eighteen thirty plus the door is right there, eighty-three dollars, and I'm going to put five hundred in on top of that for the punitive damages because she came in and she wrecked the place. So your net total recovery is going to be your cost plus $2,413. And why am I not getting the, the full 10 months? Because you have an obligation to engage in what they call mitigation. Mitigation means when somebody breaks the lease, you're supposed to make reasonable efforts to secure a replacement. That's your now in recess. Go ahead and exit. Well, maybe the defendant's definition of vandalism is different according to her. Breaking some glass was just part of her exit strategy and no big deal. It's a big deal to the plaintiff. She's going to have to pay for that, and her counter is dismissed. We'll be right back. The judge tells both to get a paternity test and the defendant to pay for the damages she caused. For information on future cases or to contact this court, check out our website at Judge Joe Brown. The defendant in this case was pretty upset when she found pictures of the plaintiff with another woman. She admits to breaking a couple of picture frames, but not to the extensive damage the plaintiff is claiming. Let's take a look.
Now, do you have any sense of proportion at all? You had a felony looking at you. You were not exactly what I call a person who was behaving in a chaste fashion. You bring in new boyfriend. Did you not realize new boyfriend was going to hear about your threesomes? The things you do to get somebody that you won't do to keep them. That's what he I didn't used want to, to get keep them. You. I nope. wanted them. Nope. He drives a taxi in New York. He's oh, got working? in the Bronx. He's got lots of people he can meet. All the little fine tender honeys that jump in and out of the he cab. Have He's his a license. single man. He's got his own uh, apartment. He makes decent money. He doesn't need to be dealing with you running around sleeping with somebody up in the mail room at your job. <laughs> What proof does and he have? And you got him wanting to marry you. Fidelity? Oh, you running game too. Oh, can we can we get a birth? Can we get you a, got a busted. paternity test? Can we By do a DNA way, test uh, now? Can we now, do one now? To the thing, your cross complaint. This was not false arrest. You have testified in here essentially to each and every element necessary to constitute the crime that you got charged with. So that's certainly not false arrest when out of your own mouth you established the case. So how can you say he's liable to you for false arrest? And by what you put in your complaint, to make a long story short, apparently you two had a joint bank account. So what happens is you say you got a $600 incentive check from the U.S. government. What the records show is that $600 check was deposited in your joint account.